What is up, guys? Welcome to, what is it, stream number three, stream number four? Um, we're back, and uh, we're right where I left you last night. So we're going to do... Um, we're gonna do some more painting tonight. That's gonna to be cool. So uh, let's see here. We have uh, these abstracts here, which we made last night on the stream, and you guys helped pick those colors, uh, the gold and the blue and the purple, and I think they look awesome. Um, and so I think tonight, and I'm open to your guys' ideas, but I'm thinking that we are gonna do a Ken Griffey Jr. using the stencil that I cut for tops. And realistically, it's probably not going to be the Ken Griffey Jr. art that ends up being put onto my Topps 2020 card. And the reason why is because for each of the um, each of the actual submission cards, when I'm painting that, I'm filming it with I have like a nice Canon camera, and then I use my iPhone, which is currently on this tripod here, and that's what's pointing down and showing that. And um, since I'm live streaming tonight and using my iPhone for the live stream, uh, I can't also capture just like the video, the whole process, um, you know, recording video on my phone. So when I do the card that becomes the tops card, I want to be able to film on my phone. And so I still can live stream that and I probably will, but I will do it a little bit differently where we're not going to have the picture in picture. We're just going to have like this uh, laptop filming and I'll be talking and then separately I will be filming top down with my phone I'm just gonna film a video and not stream that part and uh, and then I'll also set up my Canon camera which is not set up right now so for those reasons uh, whatever we paint tonight is just gonna be for fun uh, I'm still trying to figure out I still want to work out with tops what I can do with the art that is not necessarily the art that makes it to the card so right now in my contract with Tops, I'm not allowed to do anything anything with commercial purposes with the art that I'm creating or anything to do with the Tops project. However, there's a clause in the contract saying if I have written permission from Tops, then I could use it for commercial purposes. So, um, I would love to go to Tops, and I, I plan on doing this a little bit farther to into the project when you know I have uh, more you know even more followers and more people that are like begging for the art. And I can go to Tops and say, hey, I have all this other art that is was created in preparing my cards that didn't make it to the cards. What can we do for that? So I don't care. I mean, maybe even like, you know, I don't need the money for it. Maybe Tops wants to sell it. Um, and we can do like a rev share like we do on the cards. Or I think like just doing giveaways is super fun. It's always fun to give away um, my art to people. And uh, if I can figure out a way where Tops is okay with me, giving away some art so that's where this Ken Griffey Jr. might end up um, but we're just gonna find out um, but who knows maybe this card is just gonna turn out so cool and everyone's gonna love it that it will end up being the print version of tops and if that were the case then the process video like I've been releasing I had a Jackie Robinson that just ended you know the sale ended yesterday and I had like a really cool video edit that put together that's like a one minute long video showing the whole process um, so if this one does end up being the card then that process video would look a little bit different because my editor wouldn't have so much stuff to work from. He'd be like basically just using exactly what you guys are seeing right now, um, which would be this live stream. Um, okay, let's see. Let's. Um, this is great, you guys. I see you all in the comments. Oh my gosh, this is freaking amazing. Uh, what part of? I'm just gonna start at the top. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna answer all these questions, and then um, we're gonna start painting the Griffey. And if you guys want to start putting ideas in for the colors. Feel free, I wanna make this collaborative and fun for everyone. I think uh, because this is an alt card and it's like just gonna be something funky and also these backgrounds there are like, you know, purple and blue and gold, uh, which is not, you know, traditional Mariners colors. Um, I wanna see, I'd love to do something funky, you know, some pinks and some purples and do like a really kind of funky um, King Griffey. So I'm gonna go through these questions, start thinking about colors. Feel free to just keep commenting below. I'm gonna to try to respond to every single comment as, po um, as possible. And then also worth noting, um, for those of you that were on the stream a couple nights ago where I was splatter painting on the hot plates with all these cards, 
Uh, and I said that I was going to give one of these to each of the person, to each of the people that were on that stream. I'm doing the same thing tonight. Everyone on the stream tonight gets one of these cards. So I made a, a website form. It's on my website, and there's a link down below in the video description. It's proathleteportraits.com slash art dash card dash claim dash form. Sorry that it's long, but the link is down below. So all you got to do is just fill that form out. And uh, you're going to put in your, user, uh, your username for here on YouTube just so that I can kind of verify. Like, I'm not going to, like, check, you know, whatever. If people fill out the form, they're going to get a card. Hopefully they were here. But uh, you put in your YouTube username. You put in your name and address so that I know where to mail one of these bad boys. It's totally random um, uh, because a lot of these are, like, completely covered in paint anyways, and it's hard to tell who the player is. So I'm just going to uh, – I'll put them in a little uh, sleeve. And then I'm going to put that just into like a regular envelope and uh, I'm going to mail it to you um, for free. So that's a fun thing. Make sure to click that link. And also, if you've not already, if you subscribe here on YouTube, it would be like a really big deal to me. I've got, um, at the time of this recording, I think like 850 subscribers. I'm just starting to get into like really putting time in on YouTube. And I think that these nightly live streams are going to be a fun way to do that. And so I want to get to a point where... Um, I can actually monetize my YouTube and run ads as of right now I don't have enough subscribers you need over a thousand to be able to do that and then I don't have enough watch hours um, I don't remember what the number is but you need like I think it's like 4,000 watch hours in the last three months and that's like a rolling thing so I will be getting close to that you know with these live streams they're usually pretty long um, I'd say like anywhere from an hour to we had one that was two and a half hours and so many of you guys stuck around the whole time. So the watch hours, I think I'm going to be good on, but I definitely need to hit over a thousand subscribers just to be able to like turn that on. And what that would mean is on my other videos, if you're watching replays, YouTube would run an ad at the beginning of the video, which I'm sure you've seen, you know, it plays for 15 seconds and then you can click skip ad. If that happens on my channel, then I would be getting, I don't know, a penny every time an ad plays or something. And, uh, it's uh, everything matters as an artist. I know that and having diverse streams of income would be great And if I can make even you know an extra 50 bucks a month from YouTube ads would be um, Meaningful to me and help pay for this art studio and the supplies that I'm buying and these cards that I'm shipping to everyone for free So that would be mean a lot. So subscribe down below. That would be rad uh, other housekeeping thing before we start is uh, my Jackie Robinson card the print run release, the print run numbers were released earlier today, and uh, it was just shy of 3,000, which is I think awesome. I think it was 2,980, if I recall correctly. And the reason that that's really cool is because it's the highest print run that Jackie Robinson, any Jackie Robinson card has had. So mine was the third Jackie Robinson card, and it's the highest print run. That is an honor and an awesome thing. And uh, obviously, with the Bowman release on Tops.com, that was uh, a challenging. Um, issue with the site where the site was crashing and you weren't able to add items to your cart and uh, You couldn't check out and I had that personal problem like I was trying to order my own cards the first day from like 1 p.m. Eastern when it dropped all the way until like 7 p.m. That night and then I just gave up and I said, okay, I'll come back the next day So I was able to order uh, I always order, you know, some of my own cards just like the rest of you guys and that's how I do my artist autograph series cards and those are the regular cards from Tops that I'm buying, and then I get them shipped to me, and I sign them with specially colored ink. So, for example, for Jackie, we're doing Dem Bums Blue, and that's going to be an edition of 42. And uh, those cards are going to go on sale to the public probably on Monday, maybe Tuesday. And uh, I just I just finished kind of like preparing, and getting those ready to launch. And so, if you guys are a huge Jackie Robinson fan and you want to like get in on the presale before they go live. It is just proathleteportraits.com slash Jackie dash Robinson. And then it's a password protected page because this is not live to the public right now. The password is Dem, D-E-M space bums, B-U-M-S, all lowercase. Dem bums is the password to that page. That will be password protected for at least the next uh, 72 hours, maybe longer, just kind of depends. But uh, if you guys are really big fans and you want to get, you know, support me and my art and pick up one of those uh, artist autograph series cards, that would be awesome. And it's also cool because the site will tell you, it tells you how many are left. 
So like, for example, uh, you know, the, the blue autograph, which is a series of 42, it'll say 41 left. And then when someone orders one, it'll say 40 left and then 40, whatever, uh, 39. So I also am giving them to uh, the people, like the pers first person to order the card gets number one of 42. And the second person will get uh, number two of 42, et cetera. And so I literally, like I have sent the link to one friend just to like get his feedback. He's not um, buying one of the cards, I don't think. Maybe he'll buy one. Uh, anyways, so you guys could like get in and you could get number one out of any of the four different colors. So there's a, there's a gold edition, which is just a one of one. That one is the most expensive. A silver, which is a series of five. There's the Dembums Blue, which is a series of 42. And then I'm doing a red, Dodger Red, and that is a series of 99. And so for all of my artist autograph cards, I'm doing the, the gold is one and the silver is five. And then there'll be some special colors that are relating to the team and the addition numbers will be something specific to the player. And then the biggest run is gonna be a red ink and it's gonna be out of 99 and those are the most affordable. Uh, and and uh, maybe not surprisingly, also been the most popular and moving the fastest. So you guys can literally get number one of 99 uh, if you wanted to go to that page. So. Again, pro athlete portraits slash Jackie dash Robinson. The password for the page is Dem Bums. D E M space B U M S, all lowercase. Okay, now comments and then painting. Um, let's do it. Much love from Hawaii. Hello, what's up, Jason? Thank you so much. Uh, let's get it. That's right. Yo, uh, NASDAQ, you made it. Welcome. Roaming Foo, woohoo. Oh man, uh, you, you guys are awesome. There's so many people here. It's, it's really cool. Um, which part of New York are you from? So I live in Manhattan and my art studio where I'm at now is in Long Island City and I spend a lot of my time here at my art studio and I have like a pretty sweet setup where I have like, there's a mini fridge over there and a microwave and I have a futon so if I paint super late, which is a lot, um, then I can crash here if I have to. So that is where I'm from in New York. Uh, just watched the Russell Westbrook, awesome work, thank you so much. Fun thing about that Russell Westbrook painting, that was for uh, the Las Vegas Raiders player, Josh Jacobs. He had me do a painting of him, and then uh, he's a huge basketball fan, and he loves Russell Westbrook, and so I did a Russell Westbrook, and then I also did a Michael Jordan for him, and I think that time lapse is also somewhere on YouTube, if I recall correctly. So all three of those were all for Josh Jacobs, which is super sick. I love, um, you know, I love football, and Josh has been a really big... Uh, collector and supporter of mine, which is really cool. Um, how am I doing? Much love from Texas. What's up? Um, Junior, that sounds dope. Yep, the kid, that's what we're gonna do. Crowded house, I know. Eric, it's amazing, thank you so much. Uh, welcome, welcome. Nelson, hello. Uh, oh man, it just refreshed. I think I just, um, it just made me jump down a bunch. Um, okay, here, I'm trying to go up and catch, find where I just left off. Uh, subscribing, subbed, thank you guys so much. Alex, thank you for subscribing, that means so much to me. Um, yeah, I need the ad revenue, a everything helps. Um, us artists are, uh, it's tough uh, out here sometimes. Um, what does my shirt say? My shirt says, you may say I'm a dreamer. It is. A, it was a gift from my mom. My mom always finds me the coolest shirts and uh, this was just one of them. I'm not exactly sure where, I don't know where it was from, but. I, one time when I came home, this was waiting on my bed at home, and that was a gift from her. Uh, let's see here. Uh, would be awesome if I live streamed how I made the card. Uh, yeah, so I, I do plan on doing that, uh, Santana. Um, and if you go back and you watch some of my other live streams, I have, uh, I made the Jackie, or not the Jackie Robinson one, I'm sorry. I made the Ricky Henderson one live, and that full process start to finish, that was the three hour stream I was talking about. It was, uh, it was a long stream, and you guys were awesome and stuck around, which was really cool. Uh, Boomer, much love from Boomer and Noah. Thank you guys. Really appreciate it. Noah, I loved the, uh, the updates. I think that you starting to play with paint is super fun. I know it's a lot different than, you know, using pencils or markers, but it's a very fun medium, and I think that, like, what's really special about paint is that, like, it's not always a clear-cut line, and it's not always perfect. But that extra little bit is like what gives, I think, what gives the work the personality and it really makes the work special. So definitely keep that going and keep sending me pictures of your art. Um, 
Crimson Mochi sub, thank you so much. AN, thank you for subscribing. Um, got you with a sub, Kevin Garcia, thank you. That's awesome. Uh, like the video up, guys. Yeah, that would be that would be great. If you like the video, I think that helps it show to more people. I'm not really sure how that works. I'm, like I said, I have a lot of videos on YouTube, but I'm pretty new to like focusing on it and um, and definitely to live streaming. So that's cool. Uh, Julian, your art's amazing. Thank you so much. Um, one Gus Bus, one K subs. Yeah, I don't know if you're telling me I got one K or if the target's one K, but either way. Absolutely, and that's awesome. Thank you, awesome work, subbing, keep up the amazing work. You guys are too nice. Uh, okay, let's see here. Really liked your Mattingly, thank you, that one was fun. There are a couple, not too many, but there's a couple Don Mattingly artist autograph cards available at my site, Pro Athlete Portraits. The red ones, which are the edition of 99, are moving quickly. Excuse me. Uh, I think there's like 15 of those left out of 99, so. That's pretty great, um, you know, the amount of support I've gotten is so cool. Uh, you're so kind, thank you, you're welcome. Um, yeah, let's get me to 1K subs, thank you guys. Can't wait for the trout, so the trout thing. Uh, let's see here, uh, Chess, Chase, I'm uh, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, um, Chase Jones. So the trout's very exciting, I'm gonna be painting that next week. It's That one's gonna be a little different, I'm gonna do a midday stream because, drum roll, I have uh, an interview with Forbes, and I will be there recording it live, and I think, and I assume broadcasting it, I don't know, to their fans, and they wanted me to paint something live while I was doing the interview, and so we're going to do the, the trout card will be painted live next week. I don't know what date um, exactly and what time the interview is going to be, and as soon as I know, I will definitely post that up on social media so that you guys can watch. And then we'll probably do something like that night later here on YouTube where I may be going to paint an alternate version and uh, and then you know maybe we'll let you guys decide which one actually gets printed as the card. Um, peep the subs, cool, I will check it in a second. Um, love Blake Blake, thank you so much Raymond. 1k, dude did we already hit 1k because that's insane if that actually happened like I know it was 800 and change so if we've already gotten that then that's insane. He's already got 1k already. Dude that's that's bananas. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, John fire stuff. I'm from Seattle. What is up? Yep. So the Griffey thing should be fun for you. Um, let's see. Finally got the Bowman today. Oh man, Simon, you're so lucky. I wanted, um, I want some packs of Bowman and I, I will, ha if I have to go to eBay and pick some up, I will. Um, as you guys, the, if you've been following the project and my, you know, talking about my history as a collector, I collected a ton as a kid and then I kind of fell out of the hobby for a long time and now I'm like back in it 100%. So like I was there with everyone else smashing that refresh button trying to get max out and get my 24 Bowman packs and I just couldn't get them. So maybe I'll maybe I'll catch them on the top site which would be great uh, in the next day. I think that they're doing more releases, maybe not. Um, otherwise I'll go on eBay and I'll, I'll pick up some and I would love to like do a break and open up those, you know, live on YouTube and I don't know. I might splatter paint on them. I might not. Uh, I guess it depends on what I pull. I think that um, this was so much fun the other day, like doing this with all of you guys and like letting you guys pick the colors. I remember like that red and that gold were the last two colors we did. That was because of one of the fans. Um, so that was really cool. Uh, let's see here. Um, would lo love a chance to order early. Robert, you got it. So um, again, Pro Athlete Portraits slash Jackie dash Robinson. And the password is DEMBUMS, D-E-M space B-U-M-S, all lowercase. Those are the uh, Jackie pre-release cards. They're going to go live sometime early next week or mid next week uh, is when I'll be actually making that page public. Past 1K, that's amazing. Uh, let's see here, um, 200 viewers, that actually is bananas. Is that like 200 concurrence is ridiculous, 166 right now, that's insane. Um, thank you guys so much. We're gonna like I, I don't want to like bore you guys too much with all the talking I know I've been like blah 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 blah, but I and we're gonna go paint Ken Griffey um, I'm just trying to get through all these comments and just make sure that like everyone's here um, That's helping me out is uh, being acknowledged. So I appreciate that uh, John 206. Let's go um, Amazing, let's see. Thank you guys so much. What is the site Simon? Hopefully you got it before but it's just pro athlete portraits.com there's also a link to it down in down below in the um, 
video description. And that is to claim your free uh, art card here, which I'm sending to everyone that joins my stream. So with 200 people on right now, that's exciting. I don't know how many, I think like, um, you know, I did a whole box of the Heritage. I think that's like, what, 350 cards or something. So I'm probably gonna have to buy more, uh, buy more cards to paint on, which is a great problem to have, and I'm super happy to do it. And I also gotta go buy a bunch of stamps and envelopes, so that's cool. Um, okay, gold for sure, gold would be nice. Okay, gold, so we're gonna do some gold on Griffey for sure. Um, Steven, I couldn't jot it down. Okay, I'll just, I'll say it one more time. Um, so it's proathleteportraits.com slash Jackie dash Robinson. So uh, that's my website is uh, proathleteportraits.com is my site. Slash Jackie Robinson has the Jackie presale stuff. And then the password, because it's a private page, is dem, D-E-M, bums, B-U-M-S. And I will, um, maybe someone else can like put that in the comments too for me in, in YouTube. That would be great, just so it's there. Uh, Ken Griffey Mariners, um, yep, coming up. Open Pokemon cards on your channel, awesome. I used to collect Pokemon cards as well. That was super fun. I collected magic cards. I collected Beanie Babies. So I love that. Um, Boomer, thank you so much. That's great. What does your shirt say? We, we covered that one. Love from Philly. What is up? Uh, hey, Aaron. Um, would be awesome if I painted streaming cards. I feel like I can't tell if like maybe these comments, I, I ended up back in the same place or people are saying the same thing. But I think I just made it to the bottom. Um, OK, purple, blue, pink, dumb bums. OK. I'm going to put this in the comments so it's uh, page is proathleteportraits.com slash Jackie Robinson. Password is dem bums without the quotes, all lowercase. Um, okay, PD says, what is your favorite baseball team? Uh, I grew up with uh, my dad. We had season tickets to the Oakland A's, and so I would say that they're my favorite team. Although I've got to be honest, I haven't really followed a lot of baseball for um, for a long time. Uh, but I do live here in New York now, and I went to uh, I've been to a couple Mets games, and I've been to a couple Yankees games when baseball was happening. And I also went down for spring training in Tampa, and I saw a Yankees game there too, which was super fun. So. Um, uh, yeah, okay, cool. So, uh, here we go. We are gonna go start painting now. I'm gonna grab the stencil and I'm gonna show that to you guys. And uh, we're gonna start painting. So it looks like I saw gold in there. I think we're gonna start with a gold layer, which will be fun. Um, I'm thinking like normally, I put down the stencil layer. I usually paint with chrome first and that's like my reference layer. And then I'll paint in by hand with all like the mid-tones, so like, you know, the skin tones and stuff or the jersey colors. We're gonna do it a little bit different tonight. I don't think I'm gonna paint with acrylics because acrylics take super long to dry. We're gonna do spray paint and have it be a little bit like messier and a little more abstract and paint outside the lines. So we're gonna do gold first um, for the reference layer. Then we're gonna do some mid-tones with, uh, you know, it could be like we could make his face pink if we wanted to, or we could do it actually like skin tones and I'll leave that up to you. We're gonna do at least two, oh, here. We're gonna do at least two different Griffies and that way we can do one funky colored one and one that um, maybe is like truer to life in terms of the colors and you guys can pick all of those. Drink of choice tonight is Modelo. It's just been something I've been going to lately and then also I need to get my water bottle too. Okay, I'm gonna grab that stencil. I'm also gonna resize this so you guys can see a little bit more um, we will have that up here. And I'm gonna move those canvases down onto the canvas on the floor so those will, uh, you guys will see that. Pedro, what's up? Hello, man. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it, man. And I love, um, you know, chatting with you on Twitter is, is rad. So thank you. Thank you for being here. Teal or some green, greenish. Yeah, let's do that as well. Okay, I'm gonna grab uh, the stencil. I'm gonna grab a couple colors and then I'll put them here and, and then you guys can like help me pick and we'll go from there. All right. 
So here, so here's the chrome that I usually use as the reference layer. I'll actually, I'm going to make this bigger for now because we're not quite painting yet. Oops. Oh, wait, how do I do this? Let's see here. Where is uh, my iOS camera? No, not that. Move that over. What is it here? Is it this one? I think it's this one. Here we go. Yeah, let's go. So I don't have as many teals as I wish I did. Um, these are kind of some options. I think these ones are probably a little bit too greeny. Um, and then this one's maybe too blue. So uh, just hop. Matt, thank you so much, man. That really, I can't explain to you how, how cool it is that I'm uh, being able to sell baseball cards right now with my signature on it. It's just like a dream come true. So here are some colors that I think are going to be really cool. So we have the gold, chrome. We're going to do a black layer. That'll be last, um, which is really going to make the thing pop. And then we have like kind of some like teals, and, and this one uh, is more blue than teal. But um, so if you guys, let's just say like this is number one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you guys want to put in maybe like for these, like four, five, or six, whichever one you guys think um, think we should do. I saw gold earlier, so we're going to hit with gold first. And this is like, it's getting pretty low, so we're just going to, uh, hopefully we have enough to hit it with one layer. i got to order more of this. Uh, I'm going to grab that stencil right now. So, five, okay, I'm seeing five, I see two. We're definitely hitting it with two. So, here's what I'm thinking. So this is the stencil, and I have two different layers. So this is the black layer, but we are gonna do this one. So we're gonna use this stencil first, and we're gonna do it with the gold. And then we're gonna do some mid-tone stuff on his face, whether it's like a funky color or it's skin tones, which I need to grab more paint if we're gonna do that. Um, and we're gonna do all those mid-tones, and then we're going to come back and we're going to hit it with a light stencil, which is this. So it's kind of, it's hard to tell. I know like if you don't, if you're not an artist, like this doesn't look like much to people, but the dip, like adding in these highlights, which we will do number two. So we're going to do chrome there. And then we're going to come back in with this, um, with the black layer and we're going to do it with the black paint and it's going to be awesome. So that's, uh, that's what we're thinking. Um, okay, I'm just looking at all these comments. Five, three, one, three, four, one, two, three, six, three, two. Wait, is there six cans? Yeah, there is six cans. <laughs> um, whoever said Pokemon cards is a great idea. Yeah, I would love to like paint on some Pokemon cards too. It'd be sick. Okay, so we're going to do this, and we're going to do it with this gold. And I hope I have enough. I think I have enough at least to spray it once. I do want to do two different canvases, so if I run out of that, I'm going to use this after. Um, or like the reference layer with this stencil. And we're going to do it on these two, those two canvases that are right there. <laughs> All right, so we will do this. I'm going to make this a little smaller now. And we'll put that up there. And then we'll put these down. So I think these are going to be good. Um, Good starting points. So we're gonna do it on those two. We also painted this last night, which is cool, but um, it doesn't have on as much paint as I would like. So like, I want to add more paint to this before I put a portrait on top of it. And so we're gonna do that probably a different night. Um, and we're gonna start with those two for today. Need my mask. Okay. Uh, okay. Alright. So I'm also getting very low on caps, spray paint caps. So I'm gonna have to um probably do uh, I'm gonna have to recycle some of these, which is fine. So I'm gonna start here. Uh, I have an exhaust fan that I need to turn on that is here, 
And so I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to open my studio door so we get some good like ventilation. Um, it's going to make a little bit of a white noise, which is annoying, but hopefully you guys are listening to like some music or something. Um, purple, blue, and gold splash. I like that. Noah picked up, picked the purple. So cool. He sure did. Thank you, Noah. Um, purple one looks dope. Yeah, you're going to look sick. Okay, so uh, here we go. I'm going to put the mask on. I'm going to turn the fan on, open the door, um, and I'm going to do the base, like the kind of reference layer with the using the black stencil, but we're going to use gold spray paint, and it probably just on one, and then on the other one we'll do chrome spray paint. We'll go from there, and then I'll check back in. So keep the comments coming. Um, I think this is going to be fun. So, this is going to be a beauty. So far. So it's subtle, but it's going to be so sick. Really nice. So what I went and grabbed, you guys saw me like before I was pulling up the stencils. Part of the stencil had stuck to the, uh, to the foam board and I wanted to make sure to pick it up cleanly so I went and got an X-Acto knife and put a new blade in there and just kind of use that to help me pick up um, the stencil itself. Uh, okay, so now we're going to do the next one. We're going to do that blue one uh, back there and that's going to be with, uh, we're going to use this uh, chrome spray paint, silver. Uh, yes, cool, right? Looking nice. Um, yeah, like a doctor doing surgery, exactly. Okay, cool. Here we go on the next one.
So I think those look really cool. Um, I like them a lot and already like I can tell, I can start to see it. All right, going for the gold. 100 Nolan Ryan cards are being delivered tomorrow by Tops. That's amazing. Um, I got a shipping notification, but I don't know when mine are gonna come. I can't wait to get them. And you know about your special stuff that's coming too, which is cool. Uh, let's see here. Dylan, man, it's amazing. Thank you. Swag, too talented. Thank you guys. Man, it's so, uh, this is so cool. It's just insane to me. Over 100 people watching at one time. Like, thank you guys for spending Friday night with me. This is how I, I spend a lot of my nights, and every night I'll be back live streaming, and as much as you guys want to join in, it's really, really cool. Okay, so now um, we, need some, we need some feedback, and it is going to be uh, what colors we want to do the mid-tones. So do we want to do maybe one of them? We do like real photo kind of realist, photo realistic, you know, it's, we'll do some skin tones on it. And uh, let me get the original reference card too. Okay, so here's the reference card. So on one of them, uh, are you gonna sign the free art card? Yeah, all the art cards are signed. Um, I'm signing them on the back, signing and just putting uh, 2020 on them. And these ones I'm signing in yellow. I think like every, every session that I do, I'll sign in a different color. Just so it's fun, then you'll know like, oh, I have, um, you know, I got one of the Heritage cards, and this was from Blake's first art card live stream, and you'll know that because it's signed in yellow on the back. This particular one's not signed, but I have started signing them and putting them in envelopes to mail to people. And for anyone that's late to the party, everyone gets one of these that's here tonight. All you gotta do is click, there's a link down below this video in the description about claiming your free art card. You have to put in your address, your YouTube username, and your shipping information, and then I'm just gonna mail everyone one of these. And yes, they will be signed. Um, yeah, Pokemon would be fire. I'd be super down for that. Um, yeah, David, thank you for spending your Friday night doing this. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I, this is, I get to live my dream, which is amazing. And I know that a lot of people, um, for a long time, even myself, like I didn't follow my dreams and I didn't do what I loved, which is art. And now I'm doing it and being paid for it and have people watching me do it. It's beyond, um, beyond anything that I ever could have imagined, which is really cool. Okay, so back to this. So we have the, uh, the original card with you know the blue. Um, I, actually, I like the idea of working some yellow in there too, on the teal. So we could do one that's like true to life-ish colors, and then one that's maybe like funky colors where we could make like his face this color or something. Could be fun. So what do you guys think? And if we're gonna go that route, let me know which one, if you think I should do the, um, I'll shrink this down again. So we have the chrome on the left, chrome on blue, and then we have gold on purple. And uh, so you guys just let me know what you guys think and we will, we will do that. I'm gonna grab, I'll let you guys comment down below and just tell me what you guys are thinking. Um, greetings from Lakeland, what's up Dan? Greetings from Long Island City. Uh, I'm gonna grab the skin tone paints and the grays and stuff, so if you wanna do one of those. Um, said yellow super early. Yeah, I think yellow would be sick. Funkier the better, yes, I like that. Congrats on living your dream. Thank you so much, Simon, it's pretty amazing. Gold and blue is tight, thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean, these are all tight. It's super sick, so I'm gonna grab those skin tones. You guys think about which, uh, what color schemes we should get going. Crazy on the backgrounds. Yeah, those backgrounds are sick, huh? I love those. 
the kid in yellow over blue would be sweet. I love that. Um, okay, well, well, we'll put that on there. Um, funky for the gold, I like that. Okay, so let's see here. What, um, uh, let's, uh, let's just go for it. Let's do, um, okay, so if we're going to do funky on the gold one, which I'm all for, then I'll do skin tones on the blue one. So I can hit, I can hit that with skin tones just a little bit. Let me get a, another tip here. Oh boy. Everything's fine. Go. Okay. So let me look at this. I just realized I painted on the wrong one. I was gonna do skin tones on the blue one. Oh man, that's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> all right, well we can still put funky colors on top of that. Um, as soon as I did it and I showed up, I'm like, oh crap, um, which is hilarious. So, well, you know, it's just art, so it's okay. Okay. Tight. All right, so that was funny. Uh, I need some grays, I think, for the jersey. Yeah, some grays and I'm gonna throw some blue on there. So I didn't really mean to, but I guess we're doing like both of them kind of true to life colors. We can definitely funk up the gold one or either one of them. After I'm going to lay kind of, I guess I'll just lay down a similar base on both. And then uh, if we want to like splatter on some crazy, of you know, these teals and stuff, then we can do that. Thank you. 
out to be Will. Yeah, I think they're gonna look nice. Once you guys see, uh, was that a mammoth tattoo? So I think you mean this one. So this is uh, Basquiat, Jean-Michel Basquiat. This is his logo. And uh, it's his crown. It's also my thinking crown. Uh, this was when I moved to New York. I got this tattoo. I got a tattoo. Every time I move to a new city, I'll get a new tattoo. So this one, uh, love over money, is uh, very important to me. That was moving to LA, which was a crazy uh, big move for me. And let's see, that was in 2012. And then, uh, and then I moved to Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. And I got this tattoo. I actually got this in LA. Uh, I had already moved to Arizona, but I really missed the beach from LA, and so this is like, um, it's a wave, and it's a heartbeat, so it's like the heartbeat of the ocean, and it's funny because my Arizona tattoo is like a beach tattoo, and my LA tattoo is not a beach tattoo, but whatever, it's just uh, life, you know, so this is my latest one, and I really like it, actually, it's not my latest one, this was just my moving to New York tattoo, my latest one here is, uh, uh, it says MacTube. It's a quote from my favorite book of all time, which is The Alchemist, and it means it is written, and it's about like, you know, you're de chasing your destiny and, and making shit happen, and so I got this one in uh, Miami just a couple months ago. That was in um, December of last year. I did Art Basel Miami, and I was listening to the book The Alchemist, and it's an audio book on nonstop, because I just kept telling myself like I'm exactly where I need to be, and this is so good for me, and. Uh, it was a really good positive experience and so at the end of it I decided to get that tattoo and so that's funny because it's like it is written and so like when I paint it's it's right there which I really love okay we're gonna do a little bit of gray on the jersey now and we're just gonna do that on both and uh, and then we will funk them up a little bit yeah thank you so much Robert I like them a lot thank you yeah the heartbeat of the ocean one was so well done it's really nice um, every single tattoo I have is also done by a different tattoo artist, which is fun. Like I know, you know, tattoos are forever and people get like their favorite artist, tattoo artist, um, you know, in their mind and then that's the only person they go to. But for me, I like that like every tattoo is signifies something different in my life and it's done by someone different and, uh, you know, that's just like fun part of the art. Am I from Mammoth? No, so I'm from Marin County, north of San Francisco, uh, in a town called Nevada. So it's about 45 minutes north of the Golden Gate Bridge is where I grew up. Uh, my raffling those, so that'll just, just depend on what I can get clearance from for tops. I'm not supposed to sell the art that I'm using to make the cards, and so uh, I'm trying to, I wanna negotiate with them and see if I can come up with like a win-win. I don't, I don't mind giving them away or letting tops sell them or whatever. Uh, so we'll see, hopefully. So,
So I think it's going to be fun with like, you know, some of the kind of harder lines with the drip. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, once we hit it again with the stencils, which really, I mean, it's that's what makes everything pop. Is going to be awesome. I think uh, we're going to do a little bit of splatter with some yellow now, and we'll just do it on both. Just to pop in a little bit of color. So here. There we go. So I think that's gonna be sick. Yeah, I'm really happy with the yellow splatter all over me too, but it's worth it. It's really worth it. Yeah, so that's gonna be cool. I think we could also take a little bit of this lighter, lighter blue. So this was the blue that I did on his like um, long sleeve shirt. I'm gonna splatter with a little bit of this lighter blue, which is a little more teal, which I think is closer to the Mariner's colors. So that way we'll just add a little more um, spice to your life which is a uh, as a callback to the Spice Girls which is my first uh, my sister I have a younger sister she's four years younger than me and that was her first CD and it just played non-stop when I was a kid I just remember hearing spice up your life stuff so Oh. I should have, um, I'm usually better about wearing gloves, but I don't know, I didn't tonight, which I'll pay for tomorrow or whatever. Modelo. Yeah, exactly. I'm actually, I need some more. I gotta get a refill. I'll do that. And I'm actually not sure, like, what the protocols are for, like, live streaming and having uh, beverages that cannot be named. So I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna think I'm gonna pour into a cup. Yeah, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Exactly, Eric. So much, uh, so much Spice Girls in my life as a kid. So, just got a 24 pack, nice. Yeah, I'm about halfway through my 12 pack. It's crazy, man, with this quarantine stuff, I think I go through a lot more Modelo's than I probably should, but I don't know, we all gotta decompress somehow, I guess. Um, let's see here. Watch all the time lapses, nothing compared to watch this. Always makes my mouth drop. Thank you so much, Boomer. And shout out Noah, if you're still awake. Appreciate having you guys here. So right now we're just kind of chilling. Um, we're gonna let those dry. Uh, I should, probably should get a fan. I'll go put a fan on them and that way we'll be able to paint, um, paint them again sooner.
Okay, so with those drying, should be pretty fast too with that fan on it. Let's just put myself over here. Excuse me. I think it's fun that I can like move around this camera just to like, I don't know. It's crazy. OBS is sick. So to live stream, I use uh, OBS, Open Broadcast Software, and then I have the iPhone app, which is that camera up there, which is on a tripod. And so that's plugged into my computer and set as an input source. This is really cool. I think it like takes the stream to another level. I used to just stream. Well, I didn't do it very much, but when I did, it was just like just this, like just the camera and me, full screen. And that made it really hard to actually watch what I was doing. But being able to have this like top-down camera is cool. I think on one of the future streams, we're gonna do a stencil cutting session where I start with just the photograph of the player and then I cut out the stencil and I'll talk to you guys about how I do that. And that was something I've been wanting to do for a long time, but I didn't have a good way to execute it in terms of like, I wanna be able to talk to you guys and tell you about it but I also want you to see what I'm doing. And, and unless you're like right above me looking down, you wouldn't really be able to see that. So I'm very, very excited about uh, some of that. Maybe we'll do that over the weekend. Hey, it's 11.23. It's been one hour since the stream started. 23 is my favorite number. So anytime that uh, it's something 23 is always a good time. Uh, might have already said, but where are these gonna go? Um, well, there's a chance that it could become the tops card for Project 2020. Um, but I also think um, there's a chance that it's just going to be an alt version where I'll just uh, hang it up in my house or something like that. Uh, or if Tops will let me, I'll give it away or uh, sell it or whatever. Um, but Tops has pretty strict control on what I can do with these cards. Uh, the cards, that, the art that I create for the cards, can't be like used commercially outside of the set itself. Um, what are my plans for the cards top sent me of each player? Uh, well, I ordered a bunch of cases, one touch, 130 point cases. So these are, they sent me these big boxes, but it's just eight, eight cards, which is funny. And so there's these, uh, it's the Ken Griffey card, blank on the back, 130 point. So they're super sick. Uh, I definitely want to do something with them. I'm going to hang, I'm going to frame, you know, put in a case. I'm going to put one of each of these in a case and have that probably next to like, I'll display it with my own art. So I'll have this next to my Ken Griffey Jr. card that's printed and I'll have those displayed together. The other ones, um, you know, same thing with everything else. Like top, tops, it's pretty strict in the contract. Like you can't sell them. Uh, I'm not supposed to, um, uh, I'm not supposed to use them for commercial purposes. So if tops will let me, do some fun stuff to give them away or incentivize people that buy my cards to get a chance. You know, maybe I put it as an insert. Um, then I'm totally open to that. You know, I don't need to keep eight of each card. I definitely want to keep one of each card. But um, so if that's the answer is I don't, I don't know yet. It just depends on what taps will let me do. Yeah, they really are that strict. Uh, and, you know, I'll tell you this. One of my goals with this project is to crush it with 2020 and be one of the top selling artists in terms of like print runs because A, like that does make me more money. I make money per sale. But more importantly, I want to have leverage so that at the end of this, I can go to Tops and say, hey, this was a great success and thank you so much for having me involved. How about next we do, let's, let me have my own set. And uh, whether it's painting cards that are like inserts in actual packs, that would be so sick. Like if people were ripping packs, hoping for a Blake Jameson, that would be like an amazing, amazing thing. But if you look at like Inception, very art, artistically like, and stylistically, it's very close to what I do. So like getting my own set that's like Inception, but it's just like, whatever they call it, by Blake Jameson would be like, that's the dream. And so like with the Topps contract and the stuff like that of like them being strict about certain things and me not giving away art matters to me a lot because that relationship with Topps is so much more important than like, giving a fan one of these Ken Griffey cards that then Topps could come back and be like, you broke your contract and now we don't want to work with you anymore, if that makes sense. Um, have you spoke to my homie RV? I don't know, RC. Uh, is it, I um, don't oh know, I think it was RJ. There's a guy named, I think it's RJ Hinners. I don't know how to say his last name, but he ordered some art from me. So I'm not sure if, I don't think it's RC. Um, let's see here. 
Yeah, packs would be so sick. That would be great. Um, did Top sign off on the variation idea for Project 2020? Um, I guess, uh, oh, so like the inserts, no. So my plan is to reach out to Jeff tomorrow and I'm gonna pitch him for my Ricky Henderson doing an insert where you know, most of the cards will be printed in either like the yellow or the green and I'm gonna let the internet choose which one. But uh, every once in a while there would be an insert and it would be with those like funky colors. Um, and if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I've posted it online, but I'm, I have five different options of my Ricky Henderson card and I wanna let the internet decide which one becomes the actual card. And um, I think it'd be really cool if we did an insert. So like one out of every hundred cards that tops prints instead of getting the regular green one like everyone else, you're getting like a orange and pink and blue one that uh, would be like special and you know numbered or whatever. I have no idea if they're gonna go for it, but I think it would sell a lot of cards you know, for them and it would bring like, we keep coming up with cool ideas to breathe more life into the project. You saw like uh, the other day Topps put out this video of Josh Vides, or Vides, I don't know how to say his name, um, but how his uh, ink on top that he's drawing with on top of the cards is actually a matte finish and the card is glossy so like it has this special shine to it and so it does seem to me like Tops is open to doing creative stuff with different artists so if I could be the guy that makes inserts happen then that would be freaking sick alright you missed on the Ken Griffey uh, do you mean uh, the Ken Griffey's that are already sold on Tops and you didn't pick them up because you can always go to eBay. Uh, I love King Saladin is one of my favorite artists in the project. He, he crushed it. His Ken Griffey was so sick. Um, and then Tyson Bex just came out. Tyson also is one of my favorite artists. And Tyson and I talk all the time on Facebook Messenger about strategies to promote and the artist autograph cards and whatnot. So either of those Ken Griffey's were great. Mine's also going to be great, I hope. Um, me and Saladin are, are your fave. Thank you so much, Dylan. So King Saladin and I did an art show together at the end of last year with the Philadelphia 76ers, where it was like official with the team. And so I did a Hal Greer piece, and he did his kind of signature bear that he, you know, his character, but it was wearing a Phillies jersey. And um, it was so sick. That's where I, I met him in person and was turned on to his art. And, uh, we've been friends since. I mean, we don't, we're don't we not super close, but like I love his work. He's hes an amazingly talented artist, and uh, it's super fun to be a part of the project with him. Yeah, Tyson. Tyson's are money. Um, do you like card art collab with other artists? I would love to do a card art collab with other artists. So while well, Tyson and I have talked about, we're going to do a collab where we are going to do a, a Kobe Bryant um, piece. He's worked with the Bryant family quite a bit. And uh, I've done a little bit with uh, Kobe. I didn't work with specifically with the family, but I did something for his agency. His agency commissioned a piece of uh, Kobe art that I painted. And so I think we're going to do something where I'm going to make a painting of Kobe, and then he's going to do his graphic design magic, which is amazing and, you know, so sick. And then we're going to release it as, like, a limited print run and then donate all the money to the Bryant uh, family or charity of their choice. So that's going to be fun. I think we'll probably, um, I don't know if we're going to do it while Project 2020 is going on or not. Um, also, like, I really like Ermsey's art. Ermsey's art is, is next level, in my opinion. And uh, we talked on the phone today, and I'm commissioning him to paint a picture of me, which is funny. So I'm going to have, like, an, my own Ermsey that is, like, in Ermsey style, but it'll be me probably in my mask or whatever. And um, So that's sick. So, like... And, like, I'm so happy to be able to, like, support another artist and, like, you know, pay them money to do what they love while I'm still getting to do what I love. And that's, like, a huge, uh, huge win. Uh, Saladin, deep at the Exotic Car Crew, PCNY, nice. These car guys have a ton of money to spend on art, yeah. I mean, he's, he's crushing it with the marketing and stuff. And, like, marketing, to me, is just as important as being a good technical painter. You know, you gotta have your style, and you gotta be like doing your thing, but you could be the greatest painter in the world, and if you can't market and nobody knows who you are, then you're gonna toil in obscurity, and like maybe you'll be famous after you're dead. Like a lot of, you know, sadly, like a lot of the, some of the greatest artists like never sold art in their lifetime. And now with social media and the internet and YouTube and live, 
uh, the abilities and like the options to like connect with the fans and like put yourself out there is on some next level shit. And uh, and I think that like King Saladin is not only just a really really talented artist, he's also like done a very good job brand building and, and establishing his personal brand and uh, his recognizable style and marketing his own stuff, which is so sick. Let them know about possible relics. Yep, so I'm gonna be doing relics starting, uh-oh, I'm getting a warning from YouTube on uh, latency, let me see here. Stream current bitrate is lower than the recommended bitrate. Uh, one second, guys. Stream status still says good. I think it's working still. Um, OBS looks good. I don't know. I think it looks fine. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do some relics, and they're going to be parts of these pants. So I'm going to cut out a very small piece. Like you see the, the relic cards where it has the cut out, die cut, and then it's like the part of the jersey. I'm going to do Ricky relics, and it's going to be part of my paint pants. Uh, and I think I'm also going to do some with the brush tips so that like the actual paintbrush... Uh, for example that this is not the one but you know the paintbrush that I use to paint Ricky I'm gonna chop this off here and then I'm gonna put it into I'm gonna build like a card custom make a card kind of insert where it's cut out and like this is just there and it's the paintbrush I use to paint Ricky for example and uh, we're gonna call them Ricky relics that's something that I also got to run by tops I've got a lot of ideas for them so hopefully um, I think they're going to love that idea. I think it's going to blow them away and they're going to be like, holy shit, this guy is on some next level marketing stuff. That's what I want them to think. Maybe they're going to say, no, you can't do relics, dude. That's not, that's not going to happen. And, you know, if that's the case, then that's fine. Because again, you know, selling a couple relics for a couple hundred bucks each versus like good relationship with tops, potentially doing my own set next or something, you know, or future projects, obviously like that's a lot more important than like, a couple hundred dollars I might make selling a paintbrush, but it would be really cool. And I've never sold a paintbrush before, so that would be like super tight. And like my paint pants, I have so many of these that um, uh, it's just funny, you know. Uh, I buy a lot of my paint pants at Ross. I actually love Ross, so I'll go and buy pants, you know, a bunch of pairs of jeans for like ten or twenty bucks each, and and then just take them straight to the studio and start painting in them. And they look so sick by the end, we're like, I'll wear them on the subway in New York. And people are like, oh, how much did you pay for those pants? But it's like, you know, 10 or $20 at Ross. And then I just painted on them. And so being able to like flip that and turn that into a relic is like a really, really, really cool thing. Streams working fine, good. Um, yeah, after uh, Crazy How Artists Become Famous After Their Death, it's true, it's sad. Um, I think that's gonna happen hopefully less now, you know, with social media and I think it's a little easier to like get your, get your art out there, but it's also, you know, it's competitive. There's a lot of people trying to get their art out there and there's a lot of attention, um, a lot of different things that you could spend your attention on on social media. So like, it's hard to break through the noise. Um, yeah, Ross is awesome. Bob Ross. I also love Bob Ross. He's great. I have a couple, by the way, if you search, if you want to uh, be entertained, if you search Blake Jameson Bob Ross on YouTube, there's two videos. It's a two-part series I did. I got the wig. Um, I was trying to do the voice, and I do like a painting tutorial about how to make my art, but like very like Bob Ross-esque, and that's just hilarious. Um, so that could be a fun thing to watch later. Obviously, like you know, that was a couple years ago, 2016, that I put that video out. So the style has evolved, and I don't exactly paint like that now, but. It's, it's timeless. Like, I watched it in the last month uh, randomly. I watched it and, like, thought it was just super funny. Uh, do you like Alec Monopoly's art? I love Alec Monopoly's art. Uh, and I also... I used to think that Alec Monopoly was annoying and I thought he was a little bit of a douchebag uh, just in terms of his, like, internet persona. But that has changed. Um, I, I really res respect his art. I think he's crushing it with the brand building part. And uh, and also, like, I've watched a lot of his vlogs. He's doing a lot of vlogging here on YouTube. And um, he seems like a really cool guy. And I know that uh, I think there it was maybe, like, a little bit of, like, a jealousy thing at the beginning where I said, oh, I like his art and I like his brand, but, like, he just seems like a dick. Uh, I don't feel like that. I don't feel like that anymore. I think that um, I would like to hang out with that dude. I saw him at Art Basel. 
and uh, I just said like what's up to him and gave him a fist pound now he doesn't know who I am and uh, I'm sure he doesn't remember that but it was cool uh, to see his stuff at Eden Fine Art which is his gallery in Miami I really like his stuff and I have like um, I have a whole series of art let's see let me find one Let me go grab one. I have a whole Felix the Cat series, which is which is like I was doing under an alias, and the alias is Riley Black. Um, I still kind of like I mess with that a little bit, but it was like I basically was like trying to take Alex's business model and replicate it using Felix the Cat because Felix the Cat copyright expired, ended about a year and a half ago, and so it's just public domain. Anybody can do it. So I could paint Felix, and then I could sell as many prints as possible. And there's no copyright issues at all, and it's like a character, like that, like the Monopoly guy that everyone knows, which is cool. I'm gonna grab one because I think um, it'll be fun to show you guys. So, here's a Felix the Cat painting that I did. It is on uh, vintage, like 1950s Felix comics, which I bought on eBay. Collector at heart, collect all kinds of shit. And then I made this stencil of Felix, and I took the iconic uh, Kuji sweater, you know, from Notorious B.I.G. of him counting money, and uh, illustrated it. And so, like, this was actually a very good example of, like, I actually did some graphic design on this, and, and kind of designed it before I printed it out and cut the stencil. This is my favorite of my Felix pieces that I've ever done. And uh, I actually brought this piece to Art Basel and I carried it around the last day. And this was like a great lesson. Everyone goes to Art Basel to look at art, people buy art, whatever. Nobody, artists, like carry art around. So I physically was just carrying this around. And at first people were like, oh, that's so sick. Did you make that? And I was like, yeah, I made it. And then I started saying, no, oh, I bought this. And uh, it's by this artist that's amazing. His name's Riley Black, and I paid 3,500 bucks for it. And next year, I'm gonna come back to Basel and I'm gonna sell it for 35,000. And that was like a fun story. And then I met this random ass dude that, that I talked to and told that. And, and then I ended up telling him that I was lying and I made it. And then he's like, let me carry it around. This will help me pick up chicks. And so he was carrying it around and I was just with him and we just pretended like I was just his random friend. And so hearing him talk about the art and tell strangers about it, that he bought it, and then hyping up the anonymous artist, Riley Black. Um, and like literally like chicks were like, oh my God, you bought art? Ooh, you're like, it was so hilarious. So this is my favorite one of these. I've got like a series, I think it's like eight paintings. Um, they're all like Alec Monopoly-ish, so long tangent. But yeah, Alec Monopoly is the man. Um, I love his stuff and he's, he's, doing, he's doing really well and I'm really, really happy for him. Okay, I think we're probably ready to paint again. Oh yeah, yeah, it's all dry. So here's uh, so now we have the midtones in there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the white layer stencil, but we're actually gonna do a chrome instead of white because I think that chrome just like pops so well. So we're gonna do white on both of these, and then that'll dry pretty fast. And then in five minutes, then we'll do the black layer, and then these are gonna be done and. I would say ready to ship, but I'm not allowed to ship them, so. Yeah, Felix is a chick magnet. Thank you guys. Appreciate that. Okay, so um, I will make this smaller again. Let's see here, how do we do this? Where is video capture, here we go. Put this up here. Put it over here. Okay, so we're gonna go back to uh, some spray painting, and it's gonna be awesome.
right, so that's super cool. So we'll put it here. So now we have the white layer, which is nice and shiny and glossy, which is sick. And then we're gonna hit it with the black in just a few minutes. And that's gonna make it really pop off. We got this one. Also very, very, very cool. Here we go, let's see. And so pretty, uh, pretty rad. So next we just have that black. So it's pretty fast, with just a uh, spray paint like that, it'll dry in like five minutes. Gold goes crazy, thank you. Love that. Oh, damn, I dropped something. These are looking pretty cool, man. This actually could become the card. I don't know yet for sure, but. I know I was planning on doing these alt versions because I was planning on doing like really funky colors, like not skin tones. And then I painted the wrong one first and then I ended up doing two skin tones. And so who knows, maybe we're gonna end up with something that will be the card. Uh, I see here. Thank you guys, gold is nutty, yep, dang. Uh, if you heard a noise, here's me throwing my wallet at the screen, nice, I love that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate that, Kevin. Hello, Lane. Newbie here. Welcome, welcome. My name's Blake, and I live stream my art uh, every night at 10.23 p.m. And I think this is my fourth night in a row doing it now, and it's been really cool. And like tonight, we've got uh, over 100 people concurrent, which is insane because I know the first time I did it, a couple, just a couple days ago, I had like 20-something people. And like the fact that it's growing so fast is amazing. If you're new to uh, my art and you want to support me, you could click the subscribe button down there. Uh, that would mean a lot if, if you're into that. If not, it's not a big deal. And also, I painted on these cards a couple nights ago. It's just uh, splatter paint, uh, hand embellished cards by Tops. I'm giving one of these to everyone that joins this stream tonight. And there is a link down below in the video description about how you can claim this. You just have to put in your address and your YouTube username and your name, and I'll put one of these in the mail to you. So if you want one of these, do that. And besides that, we've got uh, 103 of my favorite people here to chat with, so I encourage you to just jump in the comments and talk to them. There are uh, a lot of people that are passionate about baseball cards and about art, and they're deciding to spend their friend Friday night with me, which is really, really cool. Uh, if you had a man cave, I know. I don't have a man cave right now. I mean, this art studio is like my man cave, I guess. Uh, when I had a house in Arizona, I had a sick man cave. It was so cool. It was like between my house, my main house and my garage, somebody before me that had bought the house had built this addition uh, this, that basically connected the house to the garage. And so it was lower, like my house was raised and then the man cave was just at floor level, like a uh, ground level, but the whole ground was like this, like flagstone flooring. And, um, and it was just like this kind of long, like weirdly shaped room that had like a fireplace in the end. And I had like, it was such a sick man cave. I miss it so much. And I, I actually sold that house in 2014, 15, 16, maybe 2016, I guess. And that is how I started to be, when I became a full-time artist, it was because I was able to sell my house and, uh, and make a decent amount of money so that like, for the first year of my art career, I actually wouldn't sell art. If people wanted to buy it from me, I wouldn't do it because I wasn't comfortable selling it yet. And uh, I was able to use the proceeds from that house to, uh, to kind of have a launch pad and a runway to launch my career, which was really cool. Yeah, this is basically a man cave exactly. well over 1k subs it's amazing i can't believe we did it in freaking one night it was like 800 something this morning so that's wild 
okay, we're gonna paint some black. And this is this is really what's gonna make it pop off. The black layer is like, it's the most fun part of this whole process. So you guys are about to see it. So I think it's sick. So something that bothers me about this is, see how this finger is black? It's actually not supposed to be. There's supposed to be a part of the stencil that's blocking that off so that that's skin tone. So on this other one, I'm actually gonna take some tape and I'm gonna put it on the top of the stencil. I'm gonna have to fix that. But this one, I'll probably come in by hand and paint that um, over skin tone. That bothers me, but other than that, I think that it looks really cool. I'm really happy with uh and it's like shiny you know with the chrome which is sick so that's where we're at right now so i'm just going to grab a little piece of tape because uh yeah that's just that black part's going to bother me
So that one, so you can see here, so with that mask jaw, the top finger is not black, which is nice. That's like what I was going for. So I'm really happy with that. That came out cool. And then what I'll do is I'll probably, uh, I'm gonna cut it down right to size, you know, so it's just all this border we won't really have. Or maybe like, it could be fun to tape off a picture and then, and then put like the gold border back in. Just like for fun, for like the art's sake, it's not gonna go on the card, but I think it came out really nice and very happy with that. So a lot, there's like a lot of, uh, there's a lot of black down here. I'll put this, um, oops. Uh, let's see here, how do we do this? Here we go. Okay, there. So there's a lot of black in the card down here and um, just as art, uh, it, that might bother me if that was there, but that's also because if you look at the original card, um, we have the Mariners logo. So I see here there's actually a little piece of um, piece of this, a little piece of the stencil that I pulled off of right there. So now that's like that. I'm going to put this back on the stencil so I know where it goes. So let's check this out. I think that's everything. Looks like it is. Oh, no, there's another little tiny piece. Good. I like them. That black finger is going to bother me until I fix it, and I will fix it. Not right now in the live stream, but the other one, the gold one, came out too. So, very happy with that. So this might, it, this could become the tops card. Anyways, what I was saying is, there's a lot of like black down here that if, if this were just being displayed as is, that might bother me as an artist. But because I know I have the Mariners coming in at the bottom of the card, that's going to cover a lot of this. I'm going to use, I'm using a lot of the original elements from the cards on my versions, which I think is a cool way to like honor that original card, so that's why that doesn't bother me, so anyways, that's, uh, yeah, the chrome is so sick, right, with the, um, just the way it catches that light, it's magical, I love the chromes, like using chrome instead of white on a portrait is like something I've done for a while, it's like a huge, um, I'm a huge fan of it. I'm going to turn the fan off real quick. All right. Well, it's good timing because uh, I really got to pee. <laughs> uh, we finished that. Uh, those pieces, I think they came out dope. So, you guys, thank you guys so much. Um, that one's nice. I could see it. Uh, I could see it being a tops card. So thank you guys. Tomorrow night I will be back uh, per usual, eleven or sorry, ten twenty three p.m. Eastern, live streaming. Probably like this. Like you know, this ended up being about an hour and a half. That's probably average of what I'll do. Sometimes it'll be longer. Um, if I'm trying to finish a card start to finish, like last night we did the background here, and you guys helped pick those colors. Noah, shout out for the purple because it looks dope. Um, if I'm doing a card where I'm starting with a totally blank canvas and I got to go all the way through it, that would take me like two to three hours usually. And that is after like cutting the stencils, which takes the longest. I think tomorrow I might do a stencil cutting one, either tomorrow or Sunday. I'll do, I'll, I got to cut some stencils for some upcoming cards. And um, I'm actually open-minded to like, you guys can pick which stencils I cut, uh, which could be fun. So if there's a favorite player, you want to comment below and just tell me which one you'd like to see me um, Cut. I already have Mark McGuire cut. That one's ready to go. Obviously the Ken Griffey. And um, 
Mike Trout is cut. I'm going to be painting that last next week. But uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Man, we cracked a thousand subscribers, which is amazing. So I can try to apply for, for YouTube ads, which is great. And, uh, you know, tell your friends if, if people are looking for something to do. And if you're enjoying this, if you tell your friends to come and tune in, I'll be here same day, uh, same time, every single day. So thank you guys so much. I really, really love you and I appreciate you. And you are the reason that I'm able to do what I do, um, which is what I love. So that is not taken for granted. And don't forget, free card coming at you. All you got to do is fill out the form in the link below this video, uh, put in your address. And, uh, um, yeah, I'm going to send you some cards. So that will be fun. All right, guys. Have a great night. Let's see here. End the stream. Bye, guys.